Hi guys, we're going to start our last new section today. We'll have two videos today, two videos tomorrow, and then we'll be done learning for this chapter. In this section, we're going to focus on expanding a binomial that's risen to a power other than being squared. We kind of already know how to do that one. So we'll start with the next exponent up, which is to the third power. So if we want to do a plus b to the third power, first of all, we're not just going to distribute our exponent. If we wanted to figure this out, we would need to multiply a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. And you would take two of the parentheses and you would multiply those two together and you'd get an answer. Then you take that answer and multiply it by the third parentheses and get your final answer. Um, but that takes a lot of work, takes a lot of box method, takes up a lot of space on your paper. So let's try to find an easier way. We can use something called Pascal's triangle as an easier way to multiply out any binomial to any power. Here's what Pascal's triangle looks like. It starts with the number one. And then on my next row, I have two number ones. Then we have a one, two, one. One, three, three, one. See if you can figure out what the pattern is. One, four, six, four, one. And it keeps going, but I've actually got everything up here that I need to be able to do this problem. So, what is the pattern? How can we create Pascal's triangle? Because this is something that you can create on your own. You don't have to memorize it. You can remake it every time that you need to use it, like on a test or a quiz. The pattern is that we're going to take the two numbers above and add them together to get the number below. For instance, to get this 4 down here, I added this 1 and this 3. To get the 6, I added the 3 and the 3. Right, So that's why the numbers are a little bit offset. In Pascal's triangle, we're going to use the second number from each row to number what the row is. So since the first row does not have a second number, we're gonna call that row zero. And then we have row one, two, three, and four. So again, look at the second number of the row to tell what row number you are on. We need to know the row number because that's gonna directly correspond to the exponent that we're using. So in this problem, a plus b to the third, I wanna use the third row, the one, three, three, one row. The 1, 3, 3, 1 is going to tell us our coefficients for our final answer. Coefficients, remember, are the large numbers in front of the variables. So when I multiply out a plus b to the third power, I'm going to expect to get four terms in my answers. And I think that my coefficients are going to be 1, 3, 3, and 1. Let's see how we actually get our final answer, because it's not just those four numbers. So again, we're going to use the third row from Pascal's triangle as our coefficients. So here I've written them out. I've left some space after each one because we are going to need to fill in our variables, our a's and our b's. For the a's and b's, there's also a pattern. For the a, which is the first term in my parentheses, I'm going to start using the power that was on the binomial. So I'm going to start with an a to the third, since this was to the power of three. For the b, I'm going to start with the b to the 0. So they're kind of opposites of each other, right? I pick the biggest number I can and the smallest number I can. Then we need to fill in the other terms. So for your letter a, since we started with a really big number, we're going to decrease it by 1 each time. So if we start with an a to the third, then we'll have a squared, a to the first, and we finish up with a to the 0. And you guessed it, for the b, we're going to increase by 1 each time since we started with our smallest number. So we start with a b to the 0. We're going to go b to the 1, b squared, and b to the 3rd. That's pretty much it. We need to do a little bit of simplifying. So if you remember from our exponents, um, b to the 0 is actually the number 1. So anything that's to the power of 0 is going to just kind of cancel out and go away. Same thing with the a to the 0. That's going to turn into a 1. It can disappear. Also, all of our number ones can become invisible. So the best way to write this final answer is a to the third plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b to the third. This is what I would get if I multiplied a plus b 
times a plus b times a plus b. Now I've attached uh, to this assignment a uh, printout of Pascal's triangle. So go ahead and hopefully you can print that out or you can copy this down on a piece of paper. Uh, you are going to need the bigger triangle to be able to do uh, some of your homework problems tonight. So the bigger that you can make the triangle, the better off you'll be for your homework. So go ahead and print out this triangle and then I'll meet you for video number two where we do a couple more examples.